Along the busy streets of Accra, a young boy pushes a truckload of electronic waste. The e-waste collected from homes end up in Abubulushi, a suburb of Ghana's capital Accra, considered to be the world's biggest e-waste dump site. Here, these young men dismantle the electronic appliances, which include TVs, computers, air conditioners and refrigerators with their bare hands and crude implements to extract copper and other metals. They earn $2.50 for a pound of copper. The extraction of copper from the e-waste is continued by burning the appliances along this lagoon while the environment is polluted. Health experts say these young men and children are slowly being poisoned as they inhale the fume which contain toxic substances including lead. Many of the youth in Abubuloshi migrated from the northern part of Ghana to escape poverty but ended up in this hazardous work. They risk their health in order to survive in the city. We are here to burn copper because no job to do and get any money to do what to solve your problem. The way I'm burning the copper, the copper has affected me because I'm not breathing well. And if we, like I'm working here two, 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 two weeks later, I'm supposed to buy malaria medicine, malaria medicine, and do what? and drink it and my body will come normally again for me to work again or for me to feel all right. Environmental experts have declared Abu Bulushi as one of the most toxic places on earth. The government of Ghana will from October this year levy importers of second-hand appliances as a measure to control the dumping of e-waste in the country. We are going to use uh, the resources of this uh, levy to set up I mean, a state-of-the-art recycling facility. So these informal operators who are currently you know, uh, collecting the cables and burning them to get the copper, they don't have to do that. Now all they need to do is to collect it and then go and sell to what we call a buyback center. But a bigger challenge is how to end the activities at Abu Bloshi, which continue to affect the health of young men and children. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra.